me dad, me pop, me mum, me sister. So, yeah, I like cars. Well, um, the mighty Tridy, mate, she, she got me into cars. She, great old you, that one. Um, actually, lost my virginity in that one, <laughs> in the back of it there. Um, yeah, but yeah, it, it, it's just got, it's got 660,000 Ks on it, and it's just been so reliable, and it's just, like every every other car that I've had, it's just it's just like, that's been the car I've fallen back onto, and and all these other cars have broken down. I've gone back to this one; it's gotten me to work, and it's just been so so such a good vehicle. I've replaced three things on it in like I think it's 13 years we've owned it, so it's, it's been pretty good. It's been really good. Bitches, yeah, bitches. <laughs> Where do I begin? I um, when I was six, I rolled a, a Holden Commodore. I was hooking it too hard around the corner and it went into a ditch. Uh, when, when I was 10, I lost a um, Holden Rodale. I would come around the corner and it, I reckon the rear tire burst personally, but I'm not gonna get into that. Um, fish tailed and I speared it into three trees and had to go to hospital for that one. And other than that, I was just, just losing it on the road and, and spinning out and not really expecting it to do so and <clears throat> and just uh, same same as that as like other car trouble as well like I've had wheel bearings fail on me while I've been driving along and, and I think actually I had had a head gasket fail on me while I was driving along and it just all merges into this one thing where you hate cars but you love them as well so it, it work, works out pretty cool. Well, it's a convertible. I mean, the roof literally comes off of it. Mitsubishi Lancer, bro. Most Aussie car you can get. Funny story, that. Granny flicked me off on the side of the road, so I fucking swerved and hit the bitch. Oh, no. Yes, yeah, it's, it's it's not too bad. I'm, the OG Australian car culture that's that's the good like the good side of it. But these pussy little brats that are driving around in Teslas and all these electric cars these days, they, they'll never know a proper car. They'll they'll never understand what it's like to need to change back two gears just to get up a friggin' hill or or break down on the side of the road because you've buddy thrown your um, head gasket out or something like that. They'll they'll never understand it and and they won't have to pay two dollars for fuel as well. So they'll they'll never get the car culture that we're in right now and it won't won't ever be the same again. Oh fucking favourite car shit. I've got the I've got heaps of cars, bro. I love Skylines. I love Camaros. I just Camaros get me going. But I would have to go Skyline all day, every day. Paul walk up from from. My favourite kind of car. It's got to be the double R8 19.290 school bus chassis. It's one of the most reliable things I've ever been inside of. And I've been inside of a lot. Favourite car. Favourite car that I own would have to be the Triton, the Mighty Tridy. She's, yeah, just because it's been so reliable and whatnot. But if I had to pick one out of, out of everything, it'd have to be either the 80 series or 100 series Land Cruiser, just because they're so reliable. And people are gonna hate me on that because I'm a Land Cruiser fanboy. No, I'm not. It's just they're so, so reliable and they've been proven because my, my old man's got one and, and I used to own one, but I ended up selling it to buy a 40 series, which is, that was a mistake. Um, but yeah, yeah, 80 series Land Cruiser, 100 series Land Cruiser, they're, they're probably my favourite cars.